Initially, uh, the project was planned in eight pilot districts. But then, uh, when it shifted from pandemic preparedness to response, then uh, the National Society, we talked to the National Society and we decided to cover as much as possible, so the project geography was expanded. In November, we had a press conference and HTP event was given big media coverage. The five messages, you know, wash your hands, cover your mouth, separate your sick and others, became the key messages of uh, the project because they're simple, everyone can read them, understand them and apply them. We're also trying to uh, bring the message of the campaign and we're also trying to target uh, vulnerable people. These can be, for example, victims of human trafficking, uh, these can be drug users or this can be homeless. Belarus Red Cross, I would say, is the organization that works with homeless most closely. There's been good cooperation with the Minister of Internal Affairs who bring them to that checkpoint where they, where they could take shower, receive clothes, food parcels, or get x-rayed. Uh, and they're basically getting x-rayed for tuberculosis, but since TB infection, is, it's an airborne disease, and the ways of transmission are very similar, it's important that the homeless receive information as well. Also in Belarus there is this unique Belarus Red Railway Red Cross branch uh, which basically duplicates uh, the Belarus Red Cross network in the country. When people go from subway to the train station with their bags, they see it, it's right there in their face. Every train has a radio, its own internal radio. The conductor will say the message, the microphone, and that will be heard on the radio by the passengers. There are some trains with the video when people just, the passengers sit and watch the movie. We've attracted about 18,000 volunteers all over Belarus. We have college, university, school students, uh, and we also have senior citizens. Uh, we call them babushkas, and those are very happy, active ones, and they're very happily involved into project activities. This project has been quite successful because it has shifted the minds of people in terms of their personal responsibility for their health. It made it clear that it's not hard to take care of yourself, to just do simple things, to stay healthy. I think it made the nation more prepared to any sort of pandemic disease, be that H1N1 or anything else.